Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here learning German with me. This is one of the few consecutive YouTube German channels so you can learn here step by step by watching my A1 A2 grammar course, other concepts, my series, and of course this one here, reading manga and learning really important vocabulary, grammar, everyday German, everything that pops up in a normal conversation. We will continue with Jemonogatari. Some crest things happened last time. We'll see what happens. I read it the first time here with you. I don't know what happens. I will try to censor if necessary. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, a feedback. I appreciate every interaction and I hope you stay on my channel because you will learn German here. I'm pretty sure. So last time he said er hat nichts gespürt, he didn't feel anything, which is not the best thing to say, but okay, let's continue. Okay, we continue and go to the right side. Es war ein schneller, you know what. So schnell means fast or quick and war is the preteritum of sein. It was literally a quick, you know what. Next one, die Polizei wird bald hier sein. Here we have wird sein, which is a nice way to show futur eins, future, will be here, here is here, and bald means soon. So we have, checking out the adjectives, bald, soon, making it blue, and schnell is quick, and it gets conjugated because the word for not being alive is male. Er at the end. Okay, so the police will be here soon. And everybody's looking like, oh, why? Who would have known that and stuff? Of course the police will come, but okay. Let's go to the next page. Uh, I'll be honest, nothing happens. They just repeat the same things with some v looking back and forward. <laughs> Lasst uns verschwinden. Lassen, we had this many times before. It is a nice grammar to let somebody do something so lassen gets conjugated and then we have the verb in infinitive the second verb so in our case we have verschwinden to run away to leave so let us leave last and verschwinden and it's imperative it's giving an order so therefore we do not need the subject uh, last uns yes yeah? somebody the uns accusative let us go, let us leave. And we continue. Everybody just saying he's not alive, he's not alive, right? And then we go to the next page because nothing else happened. Right side. Beeil dich, Arissa, steig auf. Here we have two verbs. The first one is reflective. You can see this really nice with a dich. Beeilen means to hurry. Beeil dich, hurry. Again, imperative. If you're not familiar with reflective verbs and all those difficult things, check out my A2 grammar course. It's completed and really f detailed and full of information. Check it out and then you will know this, um, this grammar structure. So hurry up, Arissa. Steig auf. Aufsteigen means to climb up. And of course we know what he means. Aufsteigen, to climb up or step up. Aufsteigen we also use for vehicles if we have to step on the on the motorcycle or maybe a horse even. Yeah, things you have to climb up, not a car and stuff. Uh, for a car we would say get in, steig ein, yeah, not auf, because you're not on it, literally. Yeah, so come on the bike. Yeah, and they exchange views. I mean, I think they have a crush for each other. I'm not sure. We will see. Oh, next one. Kapitel 4, Tamiya. Is this the girl, Arissa? She looks like it. Arissa again. Arissa, beeil dich. Okay, again. Was trödelst du so? Trödeln is mm, a nice verb. It means to be slow or to not hurry up. Trödeln. To be almost on purpose slowing things down. Yeah, so a mother telling her children, don't be so slow, we have to go. Trödelt nicht. Yeah, hurry up, trödelt nicht. And this is a question. Was trödelst du so? Why are you so slow, slowing down? It's a verb, it's not an adjective. Trödeln. Another question word that would make sense would be, wieso? Why are you so slow? Warum or wieso trödelst du so? Yeah? 
but was is also really conversational. Okay, next one. Ach, oh nein, okay, that's clear. And let's read. Wir müssen durch den Hintereingang von Warenhaus Nummer 5. Finally, a nice sentence in this chapter. So, müssen, to have to. Normally, there would be another verb because we have the helping verb in this case, but we don't have to say it. You will see in a second. Der Hintereingang is male, der Eingang, the entrance. Der Hintereingang is literally the back entrance, male. That's why we have den, because durch den is akkusativ. Durch den von, von needs dativ, or no article in our example. Warenhaus we had before, it is the storage house, storage unit, stuff like this. So, number five, number five. We must go through the back entrance of storage unit number five and you can see i made go in this kind of marks because it's not here but everybody knows what it means yeah so we must go we müssen durch den hintereingang von warenhaus number five fahren we have to drive gehen to go whatever makes sense and doesn't have to be pointed out next one da passen die bullen mit ihren karren nicht durch Durchpassen is one verb, separable. Um, it can also mean durch etwas passen, to fit through something. Yeah? Durchpassen, to fit or not to fit through, through something, through a gap or so. Yeah? Durchpassen. Um, der Bulle is the male cow, but also a not so nice expression for police. Uh, in English, we have another animal, right? We have the piggy. Let's say it like this. Yeah? So this is the equivalent. Die Karre, die Karre by itself, without any context, is the carriage. The thing that the horses, der Karren, male, the thing that the horses were dragging, right? So the, yeah, the carriage. But now it's just also not so nice, not neutral, but not too bad expression or youth language expression for car. So what does he want to say? He wants to say, there, at the back entrance, there are, or there can, the cops with their cars not fit through. Um, mit needs dativ, yeah, mit ihren, plural. So the cops with the cars will not fit there. A uh, car doesn't have to be negative for a young person or yeah, someone who likes to talk slang i guess if somebody buys a car and the other one says oh coole karre yeah coole karre yeah it's it's okay so like nice drive los the name of this channel los let's go los and we go to the right side denk bloß nicht das war's denken to think and was we had this um, in the beginning of the unit here of the lesson a past tense of to be so don't you think this was it, das war's, this was it. Bloß is an exaggeration expression. Uh, don't you dare to think, yeah? Just don't think. It's just to make it more, more harder, more threatening. Bloß without context means only. For example, er hat bloß eine Stunde Zeit. This is equivalent with nur, only. He only has one hour time or whatever, yeah? Bloß. Next one. Wir machen dich kalt. Uh, easy enough. We make you cold. Jemanden, akkusativ, jemanden, kalt machen. To make someone cold, of course it means to unalive somebody, yeah? Wir machen dich kalt. It's super windy. I hope my bathing suit doesn't fly off the balcony. Okay. Um, gut, wir machen dich kalt. Merk dir meine Worte. Again, imperativ. A lot of orders in this uh, unit. So, merken is reflective. Sich etwas merken means to remember something, to keep something in mind. Yeah? Meine Worte, my words. Das Wort, neutral, the word. 
this was it for today a little short session i think i haven't added it yet but i assume it's not that long as like usual but yeah for the circumstances i hope you still liked it and learned something new leave a question a feedback a sentence in the comments below i always answer and we'll see you with my other projects all the latest next friday bye Thank you.